Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my gadget kitchen. So hey, I'm back in front of the camera. Um, today I wanted to do a video because I picked up a um, couple new gadgets and I wanted to show you guys. So this is going to be my first unboxing video. Um, my three-year-old is up right now. He's in the family room and that's right across from the kitchen. So if you hear stuff in the background, it's him watching trolls. So just ignore that. But um, anyways, so I have one gadget that I picked up today from Target. And then I have one gadget that I ordered from QVC that was delivered this week. And then I have another box that I'm gonna open. It's not a gadget, but it's definitely kitchen related because I will be using it in my videos when I cook. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the first box. There's actually no hiding what this is. You can actually see um, on the outside of the box. It is an Instant Pot, but which one is it? Oh. It is the Instant Pot Mini. This is the latest Instant Pot to be released. It is their three quart, uh, seven in one pressure cooker. Now I already have the Instant Pot Ultra, which is six quart. And then I also have the eight quart Instant Pot Duo. So it was only fitting that I grab this, um, this mini. And um, I had been eyeing it for a while, but I just didn't want to pay full price for it because uh, I'm, I'm a couponer. Uh, in addition to cooking, I like to coupon. So um, my motto is never pay full price. So I didn't want to pay full price. So Target is having a deal on their kitchen gadgets and they're 25% off. And I use my uh, Target red card. So then that was an additional 5% off so I went ahead and ordered it and picked it up at the store so oh my goodness it's so cute so here's what it looks like let's let you get a closer look at the panel there oh my gosh it's adorable so the buttons it has on here are soup broth, meat stew, bean chili, slow cook, um, rice, porridge, steam, yogurt. Y'all know how I feel about uh, yogurt, homemade yogurt. Well, if you watched my uh, giveaway video. Um, and you can adjust the pressure level, um, keep warm, delay start, all that good stuff. So. It came with some accessories. So we've got this is the uh, moisture catcher. Uh, Jackson. Shh. The moisture catcher. This uh, attaches to the back and it catches any uh, condensation. This is the measuring cup for making rice. And then two spoons, and then of course the plug and the instruction booklet. Inside we've got oh, what's that? Inside we have a wrap, and we have the stainless steel insert so fits inside the rack and then that goes in there so all right that's gadget number one Yay! okay let's move on to the next box I had to kick the toddler out of here because he was just not being my friend right now this is why all my videos are done um in fast mode because when i record that way it doesn't pick up any sound so he can make as much noise as he wants and it's no big deal 
but anyways so this is um this next thing right here it's not a gadget but it is cooking related like i said um i ordered this off of qvc um and let me show you what it is are flavored salts from a company called salt topia i thought these were super cute usually that's like the first thing that decides if i'm gonna buy something <laughs> so whether it's cute or not so i thought these were super cute and then i thought the idea of the flavored salts was awesome because i've had people suggest me to uh, suggest that i try uh, smoked salt so um, there is a smoked salt included so I decided to go ahead and give it a shot in it and um, it's a total of six different salts so let me show you this one is called dive into chives and it's chive infused sea salt so that's the first one and I love the little containers that the salts come in. You get uh, 3.4 ounces. And then look at the little jar. I love it. Isn't that cute? And then the little spoon. Ah, love it. Okay, so that's Dive in the Chives. The next one is called Twisted Sisters and this is lemon and lime infused sea salt lemon and lime this one tilted a little bit so that's the second one the next one is called shot well and this is alderwood smoked sea salt so this is the smoked salt oh i'm just not looking at the box the or the back and it looks like they have um, recipes. The recipe on the back of this one is smoky bacon and beans. And then there's a tomato salad recipe. The Twisted Sisters has a scallops and citrus on the half shell recipe, Caesar salad and citrus spaghetti. Oh, that's interesting. And then the dive in the chives it has chive buttered carrots, chive vinaigrette, and mayo-free potato salad. Oh, cool, I love it. Recipes so you can get some ideas on how to use it. Okay, so the next one is, do you guys wanna see me? Let me see. Hey! <laughs> All right, so the next one is called Magmalicious. And this is coconut infused black sea salt okay so we've got salt and coconut you see that and this has grilled coconut shrimp coconut salted ice cream hmm i don't know about that one and uh coconut rice and this one is called Pomodori, oh no, Pomodori Sole, sole Giato, Pomodori Sole Giato, tomato infused sea salt. I just killed that name, like I murdered it. All right, so I'll let you guys see if it's clear enough. Maybe somebody can tell me the proper way to pronounce that. All right, so tomato infused sea salt and They've got a recipe for tomato stuffed, grilled chicken, raw tomato compote, and corn tomatoes and basil dip. And now the sixth and final flavor is Scarborough Fair, which is rosemary infused sea salt. So it looks like and the recipes on here are roasted cod with chorizo, tomatoes, and mushroom. Mm. 
rosemary potatoes and rack of lamb with rosemary crust sounds good <coughs> excuse me all right so i will definitely be trying these out so be on the lookout um for them in my upcoming videos but these are just so adorable so i'll be doing a review on how they actually taste as i uh use them in different recipes all right so that was box number two we got one more to go so i'll be back with the last box okay so this next box i have no business even ordering this like i totally do not need it but i mean that doesn't matter because i buy a lot of stuff that i don't need but like i really didn't need this one but it was a it was a good deal on it and i can't pass up a good deal and um the color the color is what got me so i had to get it uh because of the color now i ordered this from qvc and i as i was watching it on qvc the color kept changing on me so now i'm like confused i'm hoping it's what the initial color that i thought it was which is what made me order it and now and not what it was looking like on tv because what it looked like on tv it wasn't as cute anymore so i'm crossing my fingers that it actually looks the way that i wanted to so i'm gonna open this and the brand name is on the long sides of the box so i'm gonna try to sneak it Oop. i don't want you to see okay so is there gonna be like a drum roll or something can't let you see the paperwork that's on top because that's gonna give it away <gasps> oh but it's the it's the right color <laughs> okay so I'm excited because I can see it and it's the color that I thought it was gonna be and not the way that it looks on camera because on camera it looked like some a totally different color but oh my god okay you ready It's heavy, hold on. Okay, okay. I'm so goofy, I know. All right. So you guys still can't see it. So let me put the styrofoam off. Oh. Oh. Oops. Uh. Okay. All right. Are you still there? You still watching? Okay. Oh. <gasps> Can you see? Let me turn her around and then move the camera. Look, look, look. It is five, five quart kitchen aid artisan stand mixer in what was this color? Ocean blue, ocean something, ocean loveliness. It's this pretty turquoise. Uh, color and I'm loving it so I had to have it so here's why I did not need this because <laughs> I already have one two three I already have four stand mixers four so now this is five five KitchenAid stand mixers I guess I'm officially a KitchenAid stand mixer collector. So my the very first KitchenAid stand mixer I got, 
Um, it was gifted to me by my mother and it's a white uh, 4.5 quart stand mixer. She got it for me because I started a, a cake business. So I was making cakes and she bought it to help me out. And then as I got busier, I got the six quart professional stand mixer. And that was awesome because then I was able to do a little bit more. And then as I got busier, I got a five quart uh, platinum covered or platinum colored deluxe artisan edition and then, then that was helpful and once I got that I actually retired the white one that my mom got me but I I can't get rid of it because it's like my original one and my mom got it for me so like I'm gonna keep that one forever whether I use it regularly or not so that one actually stays in the garage because I really don't have the room in the house for four stand mixers so I have three in the house and then the one in the garage so then after I bought the platinum one uh, a few you know a few years later then KitchenAid releases this KitchenAid mini and it was like super cute and then they <laughs> super cute and yellow so can you see it where is it oh well I can pick it up because it's little hold on so I think you guys have seen this in, I used this in my, brec my breakfast video when I made waffles and um, uh, I used it when I made the no cook vanilla ice cream and there's a, it's chilling in the background in my giveaway video, but I couldn't pass this up, it's a mini. And so I figured I get the mini cause um, one it's cute, but then also it would be easier for my daughter to help me out in the kitchen even though she actually hasn't used it yet but um yeah so wait since i have it out let me show you the size difference so here's the mini next to the um next to the five quart the mini is like way lighter which i love so i can just move it all around and then here's the let me see there we go mini mini 3.5 quart and the full-size 5 quart artisan but oh my gosh you guys can't tell me you don't like this color so anyways this one comes with the wire whisk and it comes with the flex edge beater and it comes with the flat beater and then the dough hook oh and pouring shield that goes there well There we go. So that goes there and then it makes it easier for you to add your ingredients while it's um, mixing. So, okay, back to me. All right, can you see me? Am I there? All right, so that's it. That was my first unboxing. Did you like it? Was it fun? So to recap, I have a Instant Pot Mini. I got six different uh, flavored sea salts from Saltopia. And I got this new KitchenAid stand mixer to add to my growing collection. I'm super excited. So my next video, you'll see me using uh, the the stand mixer to make some homemade pizza dough for this uh, barbecue chicken pizza that I'm going to be making. I did a um, rotisserie chicken in the air fryer and so I'm going to dice up that chicken and make pizza dough and bake 
uh, homemade pizza in my Breville Smart Oven Air. So I will see you guys later. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like my video, give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.